What comes to mind when you hear conservation, restoration, threatened, endangered, wildlife, extinction? What animals do you imagine? Is it these? It was daylight and we were oblivious. A sunny day, we left the ranch and were walking along a torn up country road and there it was. We didn't see it. We would have just kept walking and missed its splendor. The dogs bolted for the field of wild short grass prairie and they barked. They were on line, so we were pulled along with them and that's when we saw it, coiled and alert but quiet. It looked so regal, so beautiful there in the grass and sun. We wanted to look at it more closely and got close enough to take a few seconds of video. We approached until it rattled, a distance creating behavior, warning us away. We acquiesced to its request for distance and we went on our way. We had encountered one of the snake species native to where we live, a prairie rattlesnake. How many of you had snakes come to mind when I mentioned conservation? Several species of rattlesnakes are vulnerable, threatened, or endangered. They're protected under the law and they're not the only snakes that fall into these categories. It might surprise you that there are several hundred snake species vulnerable, threatened, or endangered worldwide, including species of pythons and boas, colubrids, vipers, and elapids. You may have seen them in zoos or in videos, or maybe even a few as pets. And there are conservation organizations dedicated to protecting not only the snakes, but preserving the habitats so vital to their survival. What? You didn't know that? Let's see if you're the only one. I'm just trying to get an idea of how much the general public or even the reptile keeping community knows about snake conservation. Oh boy. Can you name at least one endangered species of snake? Yeah, the eastern indigo. Do you know of any others? Oh God. <laughs> Can you name any endangered species of snakes? <laughs> I know that one is, but... And do you know what kind this is? It's an Eastern indigo snake and you are absolutely right, they are endangered. Do you know why they're endangered? Mm, not really. Deforestation. Deforestation and commercial buildup, you know, and then a lot of ignorance because you know, a lot of people post a snake and will say, kill it. Do you know what kind of habitats or areas of the planet have endangered snakes in them? Do you know where this Eastern indigo snake lives? Australia. The eastern indigo is very endangered and they are found in basically the most southeastern part of the United States, parts of Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. So why is it important that we consider snake conservation? Why are snakes important to the environment? Well, they're huge for pest control. There's, there's tons of reasons why, you know, they keep areas, it's basically just part of the whole ecosystem, you know? So why do you think it is that people don't realize that snakes are endangered, that there are species of snakes out there that are endangered and threatened and vulnerable? Well, probably the reason is, is because of just how the general public views reptiles and snakes in particular, which is always either an afterthought or something negative. And so unless it is specifically brought to light or it affects them directly, they very rarely will even know about it. Even when I'm visiting the zoo, you see all of the things about conservation for, you know, Africa's big five and tigers and mm -hmm. things like that. Why should people care about snakes and snake conservation? Um, I guess I'm not sure. But reptiles, even for conservation status and zoological fields, always seem to be a bit of an afterthought, which is very unfortunate because a lot of different species of reptiles not only are invaluable pieces of multiple ecosystems, being apex predators, being staple food sources, and as well as keystone species, which act as, without them, multiple other species in that ecosystem cannot thrive, and the ecosystem will either completely fall apart or something will change to where new species will end up taking over the spot of that keystone to completely change the ecosystem permanently. <laughs> I'm aware of a paper that came out in 2018 by Reiser, Schuett, and Green about how rattlesnakes actually serve as seed dispersal mechanisms in their natural habitats mm -hmm. because they're eating rodents who eat seeds and those undigested seeds in the rodent bellies 
just pass right through the snake and they end up wherever in the environment that the snake happens to eliminate. I'm not aware of a study on eastern indigo snakes, but I would presume that they would be beneficial in that same way, especially with how far they travel. I would venture to guess that they would actually be an even better distributor like that because of all of the different prey items that they eat with the wide spread of how they move and travel. Can you tell me about some organizations that are actively working towards snake preservation and snake conservation around the globe? Zoo Miami in Florida, uh, Memphis Zoo, St. Louis Zoo, the Orient Society, who does a lot of conservation work with not only the Eastern Indigo, but with the Louisiana Pine Snake and the Gopher Tortoise um, and several other different species of reptiles.